Greetings, and today is one my is my 100 subscriber special video. So before I get started, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for supporting this small little channel full of Gwent content, full of Gwent deck guides and lists, and like other, well, soon to be more variety type stuff uh, with relation to Gwent. Um, so I had a couple of ideas. Well, I had a lot of ideas actually of um, what to do for the 100 subscriber special. But uh, honestly, like when I really thought about it, it's only, well, I don't want to say it's only 100 subscribers, like it's actually a big deal to me because I never honestly thought I'd reach this point so soon. Uh, I didn't expect to be, you know, getting it for at least a year. But uh, I'm glad that you guys are coming in, you guys are finding my content. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. And uh, I just thought I'd just do a little bit of an introduction video, sort of give you guys an idea of who I am. Uh, sort of what my interests are, at least in terms of this game, the future of this channel, um, and stuff like that. So, who am I? Um, my name is Enzo. Uh, that's not my real name, but that's the name that I'm gonna go with for the channel. My name is Enzo, and um, I've been playing RPG games for as long as I can remember. Uh, I'm Canadian, but I am not from here. I was born in the Philippines. I moved here when about 15 years ago now. Wow, it's been a very long time. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so I moved here about 15 years ago, and um, I got my first console here, which was a PlayStation 2. I've been playing a lot of like Final Fantasy. Uh, my very first game actually was Final Fantasy X. I was a big fan of Final Fantasy X. It was a very good game. Uh, I have it on remaster, of course. I am trying to beat all of the sort of super bosses and secret bosses and stuff like that, but that's a... That's just my interest on the side. Um, I got into Skyrim, which was the next big RPG game that I... Uh, notoriously liked and then the witcher came out this sort of you know already says the leeway as to how i got into gwent uh i was playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh as well so i was a big i started big into Yu-Gi-Oh. i've never played magic the gathering um but Yu Gi Oh is a big fan of card games um when uh witcher 3 came out and gwent i already knew i was gonna get hooked into it because i knew it was a card game and uh, i always find it fun collecting all the cards and just being able to win with them um so when um Oh, and uh, in terms of schooling, because I'm sort of going to connect, uh, I studied two years of biomedical engineering in university. I have a diploma on it. I do have a full-time job, so this isn't my full-time thing. Otherwise, I'd be posting every day. Uh, well, I still could, but, you know, I have other uh, projects that I like to work on as well. So, in university, uh, during class, actually, and this is how I heard about Gwent. Uh, this is standalone, because I've always wanted this game to come out on standalone. Uh, one of my friends actually got into the closed beta for standalone. I never knew about this because I didn't really do enough like digging. Um, if I did, I would have known it as well. But he got into uh, standalone because I'm like, I saw that this looks like Gwent, but it looks nothing like the Gwent and the Witcher. So I saw him play and uh, I I went for closed beta right after he I saw him play that one time. I couldn't get in until six months later, so I kind of had to spend... Uh, I don't know, six months, three to six months, I can't quite remember, but it was definitely a while. It definitely lo took me longer than the, how long it took him to get into the closed beta. Uh, so I saw him play games mostly, and he was playing a lot of monsters. He loved monsters. Um, back when Necker was very powerful, that was back when um, you, you used Necker warriors to make copies of Neckers, and then you'd use Neckers to sort of summon each other to either deck thin or swarm your field full of Neckers. Man, that was crazy. Um, I saw him play with monsters a lot, so that's how I grew to like monsters. When I got into Gwent, when I finally got into the closed beta, um, I couldn't get uh, the cards that he got, but I came across a lot of Skellige cards. So I was playing mostly Skellige. That was back when the um, the great swords were as good as the Gore Two Blades as bronzes. Uh, so and I was using that in combo with Lacerate. Um, so and other a lot of other damaging cards I can't quite remember because it's been forever since uh, Gwent closed beta. <laughs> Which is like three years ago, I think, 2017. Um, yeah, so we would often have Skellige versus monster matches, like in the middle of lectures, because that's how much we love the game. Um, our classmates were even watching us play. They're like, what the heck are you guys playing? Hey, if an RPG fan, you'll know, you know. Uh, so he would always win because he had a lot of experience. He knew how to play the cards better. Uh, he knew when to time. Um, he always found my deck annoying whenever I had Geralt Igni, because Igni was definitely the swarm killer. Well, not the swarm killer, but. He took up a lot of power back then. Um, it's funny because Igni isn't any weaker than what he was back in closed beta, but he's much stronger now because the games are much more low, sc low scoring. Um, so I'm playing Witcher 2 music, by the way. I, if you guys aren't sure of what that soundtrack is. Um, I think I'm going through battle music right now. 
Let me change it up a little bit. Yeah, here, this is good. Uh, so yeah, he, he would often win. Um, so it's always Skellige versus Monsters. Sometimes I delve into Northern Realm, sometimes he's delved into Squiatel. So we had a back and forth match with each other all the time. Um, I never really got into the pro rank, like, at the time, and not so much. I mean, I do now, but not as much uh, then as I do now. Um, but yeah, we would always have fun, friendly, casual matches, and he has now a total of 1,200 hours in. I have a total of 550 hours, which is absolutely insane. That's how much he's been playing. So anyway, that's just all backstory. That's just sort of me and sort of how I, what, who I am, how I got into the game. Uh, now let's talk about the channel. So, a little bit, this channel is definitely all about Gwent. Um, I like to make a lot of deck guides and deck lists, but at the same time, I also like to do a little bit of variety stuff. So I'll, sometimes I'll react to the Great Dandelion Show episode. Sometimes I'll talk about um, maybe like the patch notes, anytime patch notes come up or whenever a new expansion gets teased or released, I'll definitely cover those. Um, that's sort of what the channel's been, you know, that's what my channel's been comprised of up until this now. Now that we've reached the 100 point, the 100 subscriber mark, uh, we're finally getting into the, hold on one second, before I continue, I made a little list here that I kind of want to put up so that I know what I'm talking about. There we go. So, yeah, so continuing on, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so mostly deck deck lists and guides, which obviously is what most of you guys are looking at. Sometimes I'll delve into some discussion. Um, honestly, like for those of you guys who just watch Gwent streamers and, tw and content creators, they definitely do a lot of deck lists and guides. Some of them do podcasts, which is cool. I like to listen uh, about, you know, the community and like people involved in the community, community, like their backgrounds, you know, getting to know them a bit more personally is pretty cool. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys that opportunity to get to know me a little bit more personally. Um, so yeah. Um, pro rank. Yes, yeah, so I did talk about pro rank. Um, in terms of my credentials with pro rank, nothing. Zero. I've never been to a Gwent Open or Gwent Challenger. I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, the YouTube part anyway. Uh, the playing Gwent, I play a lot of Gwent, believe it or not. Um, I don't play as much as I used to because A, full-time work, uh, and B, other projects I want to work on. Like currently, as you guys can tell behind me, my room's getting renovated. Well, this thing right here being covered up. Yeah, I'm going through renovations at the moment, so it's kind of hard for me to establish my workstation for the time being. So I'm just working with this for now. Um, yeah, so pro rank. Uh, I do hit pro rank for the past I've, for the past three seasons. I've been hitting pro rank, but I've never been trying to go for the top 500 because I feel like the process from getting from rank five to to pro rank is already so draining because the meta is filled. By the way, the meta has not changed. It is still status Nilfgaard. It is still Draug um, Northern Realms. Draug or Siege Northern Realms. You'll see a little bit of squad style, but not as much as you used to. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what the meta's been filled of. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't upset because it's exactly what we saw last season and it's exactly what we're seeing this season. So, you know. Um, but I will do, I will get into pro rank regardless. Um, but usually when I get into pro rec, I'm, I'm just playing casual games for fun uh, So yeah, uh, next topic on the list. We got the meta decks and the meme decks. So Meta decks the thing is I don't want to do as many meta decks going into the future Unless it's a meta deck that I have yet to cover then I will definitely do it But I feel like meta decks are better covered by like, you know You got the esports teams team r 2 so team rank star like they got their meta reports or team nova as well you got their meta reports and they give you pretty good explanation as to you know why this deck's in the meta counters what they're good against uh for me i just like covering decks for fun and just playing with them um i like to learn and grow with you guys um just because i'm making videos and you guys are the ones watching them doesn't put me in a different you know room as a different league from you guys like i want to consider that we're all the same uh i'm just sort of the middleman <laughs> to be honest uh, i make mistakes I make very rookie mistakes, so I'm definitely not uh, a pro gamer. Uh, I'd like to be at some point, uh, maybe when work sort of cools down a little bit and I have more time to myself. Uh, I definitely would want to start focusing a little bit more into the competitive aspect of Gwent because I think this game is growing. Now, of course, at its current, like if they continue at their current state in terms of like the way they uh, patch their cards and stuff like that. Maybe I don't know like it could I can see like irritation levels going up like especially if status nerf card remains as powerful as it is um, I know you guys are saying like yeah morale and King Cobra got nerfed But it's like it, the nerf they got is not the same as like the nerf that mystic echo got the one that pincer maneuver got uh, Nerf card is still very powerful 
because you can still do two card combos and they barely got changed like strategic withdrawal two card combo um tactical decision very two card combo so yeah the elf card is still pretty powerful yeah so i'm gonna look into doing more mimi kind of decks or gimmicky decks so the last one i did before this one uh, before this video is the all neutral deck uh so if you guys want to go check that out uh it was actually a pretty fun deck uh it's crazy how much potential um neutral cards do have like just in combo with each other um but yeah i want to try looking for decks like that that are like not definitely not in the meta but you know that can be also pretty fun to play and pretty fun to surprise maybe some meta opponents with so that's why i try to do one unranked and one ranked usually the ranked is i get clobbered because it's ranked and it's meta but you never know right so yeah that's sort of the state of some of the videos that are coming to the channel now that we've reached this milestone i am now going to start uh, start unlocking more gems because i don't want to unlock everything um i don't want to unlock everything that everything every idea that i have because you know if more people come in they might start asking for more different kinds of content it's like shoot i kind of ran dry out of ideas and i don't want to do that i want to make sure i have i, I have um content available and ready to go and fresh so I don't ever want to try and make the same exact same video twice uh so moving on and that kind of carries on to our next topic which is what it's like called new game modes so it's it was kind of difficult to find like innovative ways to play this game well it's a very strong word uh different ways to play this game because you know it's very tactical it's very methodical it's it's naturally slow paced but like you know the fast paced decks are very uh favorable definitely against it so you know different ways to play in the game i did do a couple of arenas arena game modes for like the season of the witch the wolf and that got well from my standards good good reception so i'm definitely gonna do more of those um i did I've done a couple of what I what I like to call deck building videos. So the way deck building videos work is, um, I have a wheel. I made a wheel of all the factions in it, and the wheel kind of decides what faction I'm gonna play with, and three factions faction cards that have to be involved in the deck. Whether they're the core of the deck or whether they're support, doesn't matter. They have to be in the deck somewhere. Um, I thought about doing hero powers as well or leader abilities i should say but i didn't want to add an extra wheel because i feel like that was a bit too much so i just took that out i sort of gave myself some room to be free in what i want to do as well so i let myself pick the leader ability um you know i can try to meme it up i can try to make a deck that it count like a counter meta if the wheel gave me the right cards for it uh but usually it's all fun and games so because that's that's what gwen says at the end of the day it's a game um Another, like a couple more ideas that I have is I want to do arena mode. Um, maybe I want to try it blind at one point. Uh, like with me with my eyes, or with a blindfold over me and um, just sort of picking the cards without even knowing what cards I pick. Uh, I wouldn't be the first to do that. Like I've seen other content creators do blind, arena, literally blind arena draft picks and games. Uh, so maybe I'll give that a shot. Uh, another one is when I play like a regular game. Um, like a rank game maybe I'll let a wheel decide which card I play or you know whether I forfeit or, or whether I pass or whether I play leader ability uh, so yeah um, yeah that'll be pretty interesting very interesting indeed so you know if you guys are looking forward to that definitely let me know and let me know if you guys have any feedback um, on any of the ideas I have whether you guys like it don't like it maybe you think it would be good maybe not um, you know I'm always very open to that because at the end of the day I make videos for you guys not for me <laughs> um but i do enjoy making them so i guess it is also for me um moving on this is sort of a subsection of the new videos coming in is i have you guys have noticed that in my titles um i've always had gwent in brackets and i really want to stop doing that well i'm not going to stop doing it but i'm going to make it a bit more unique because i feel like whenever i put gwent it's like you guys already know it's gwent so it's like it's kind of redundant so i kind of want to categorize my videos where it's like if it's a Gwent deck guide, I might put in brackets Gwent decks. Um, if it's a reaction, I could do Gwent reacts. Um, if it's like a chat, whether we're discussing a new update or, you know, like something about anything about the game at all, anything that requires us to talk, it'll be in Gwent chat. 
Um, could do a podcast, but the thing is, I need other people. And in terms of collaborating with other YouTubers, I don't really have other plans. No one's asking me this, by the way. This is just stuff that I'm thinking of as I go on. Um, I don't really have any plans in the near future to do any some sort of collaboration, just because I feel like I want to improve myself as a content creator, as a speaker, because I'm pretty antisocial, as you guys can tell. It's like why I'm behind a computer. Um, but yeah. So I want to get better at that before I start thinking about doing anything in like communities and stuff. But you know, I do get involved with communities. I do watch streamers play. Um, I watch their guides on decks as well because I know there are a lot of people out there that are much better at me at doing this stuff. Um, but you know, it doesn't stop me from wanting to try myself. So I thought, why not, right? Uh, so speaking of community, um, oh, and to move and to go further is I have I'm gonna start to do something what's called five card lists. So you guys saw a couple of those already. Uh, the most recent one I did was five cards that should be changed in this current meta. Um, three of the five got changed, I believe. Moral got changed. Um, Gaunter got changed, not by much, but they did get changed, even though they were just provision changes. But you know, and the third one, oh, I can't remember. Third one was I can't remember it. Oh, Redea, Redea, yes. So they got changed. They definitely got nerfed. Gaunter got boosted, but. You know, no one still really plays him. Um, but I love Gaunter. He's my favorite Witcher 3 character. Uh, my favorite card is Geralt Igni for nostalgic reasons because I talked to you guys about how I would use it against my friend's monster decks. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So, yeah. Um, and to sort of answer the question, I guess, the card gamer, because I know people tend to ask this too. My favorite faction is Skellige. Again, for nostalgic reasons, I just love Skellige. Uh, I kind of wish they got more boost. Like, they did get... They got a lot of love in this meta, but very... Subtle love, not like the rework good love, like, you know, as I hope they would, but that's all right. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna start doing five card lists, like let's say five cards for beginners maybe for them to craft. Now that, that kind of list is kind of hard because meta changes. So if I told you to craft this, that, and this, uh, this, there, or that, then they might change at the end of the month. So it's like, what was the point, right? So I don't know if I want to do it in the beginning, but... I don't know. I probably not. I th that might be a bit too redundant. It's more content for the channel for sure, but I don't want it to get redundant. So, speaking of communities, I will move on to communities and social media. Um, I am notoriously bad at using social media. Uh, I want to improve on that. So I definitely encourage you guys to go follow my Twitter. I want to upload more, you know, more of myself. Like post stuff about whatever, about life, um, about, you know, funny, good, bad. Highlights, lowlights, moments in Gwent. Maybe post a screenshot of it every now and then onto Twitter so you guys can go check it out. And you know, like, let me know what your guys' best moments are or bad moments are. You know, it'll be a lot of fun to sort of just get to know you guys, you know, just outside of playing the game. Um, it'll be pretty cool. So you guys go follow me on Twitter, Instagram as well. Instagram is more of like my personal stuff. Like, you know, whenever I go out on a trip, I go on hikes or whatever, vlogs. Well, I don't know about vlogs, maybe not yet. But uh, yeah. So you guys should follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those two will be the main that I will use. I will improve on it, I swear. I won't be just using Twitter as a way to post videos anymore because that's just going to get too annoying. Um, and I trust that you guys have already subscribed. For those of you who watch this video, probably those who have already been subscribed. Because if you're just new here and you're just watching this, why are you watching this? You should be watching my Gwent deck videos, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So I do want to improve on that. In terms of a community, like I have nothing in terms of like what I want to call you guys. Like, you know, I don't call you guys the knights or something. Nah, I wanna, maybe I'll think of something at the end of the line, but for now, no plans with that. Um, next is streaming. So, streaming is something that I found very tiring when I tried to do it. Um, and that was my mistake because I tried to do three times a week starting out and that was the, a bad idea. So, from here on out, I'm gonna start streaming once a week on Sunday mornings. Um, so catch me on Sunday morning uh, with this Sunday um, with the stream. If you guys miss it, it's all right. I do highlights on YouTube. Like I'll be posting like sort of my best match or best two matches on YouTube. Um, I'll probably do the deck list for that one as well, but it depends because sometimes I switch between different decks. So maybe I'll do two different deck guide videos. One, and I both will have highlights from the stream if you guys did miss it. So you guys can go check that out. But I encourage you guys definitely to go follow me on Twitch so you guys will know when I'm live, which again will be Sunday mornings and you guys can talk to me. And we can talk about anything that's going on, honestly. Like, I just love talking to you guys. I just don't like being out with people because I'm very introverted. I just... And it's funny because introverted is very... It's a it's a misconception sometimes because people think that if you're introverted, you're antisocial, like you can't talk to people. No. 
I'm introverted because what it means is you lose energy when you're with around people. An extrovert is very energetic when they're a lot of when they're around a lot of people. I my energy gets drained when I'm a, around a lot of people. I love to talk, but being around a lot of people, I will just pass out in exhaustion. People will think I'm drinking. That's how bad it is for me. So doing something like this also helps me with being able to talk to you guys, uh, respond to you guys' feedback, and stuff like that. So that's sort of all the topics that I want to cover uh, for this milestone video. Um, if we reach 500 subs, which I hope we will, uh, we'll do have another milestone video there. I'll probably do something a little bit different. Um, well, I'll definitely do something different. I'm not going to do the same one <laughs> because you guys have already, will already know who I am by this point. Um, but yeah, so the 500 sub mark will do a different kind of video. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys continue to support this channel. And you know, through liking it, disliking it if you guys don't like it, uh, comments, because it does tell me a lot. Good and positive feedback tells me so much about the stuff I post. Uh, I can take it very well, don't worry. Like y'all can yell at me for how bad I am at the game. Go right ahead, I can take it. Hit me with your best shot. Um, that's not gonna stop me. Um, yeah, so that's about everything I have to say for this milestone video. Once again, I'd just like to thank you guys so much for helping this channel get that far. Um, hopefully, I can I can continue to bring out some pretty decent to good quality um, Gwent content for you guys, and expect a little bit more diverse content in the future. So it's not gonna be so much. Um, just deck guides anymore. Uh, there'll still be deck guides, don't worry, that's not going away at all. Otherwise, what's the point of having this uh, having this channel based around a card game? I'll still have those for sure. Um, but yeah, so there's even a couple of things that I haven't even mentioned and I'm not going to. You're just gonna see them when they come out. So uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, found it, more, found it very informative as to where this channel is going, please leave it a like, comment on any feedback that you guys have, good or bad, doesn't matter. I will take it all under consideration and make changes accordingly because at the end of the day, I do this all for you guys. And of course, subscribe for more Gwent content. Other than that, this is Enzo signing out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.